Good evening. Uh, now, I will make a quick announcement about sound. The only sound we have at the moment is from uh, some overhead mics. Zeus, I told you to go and lie down. Go on, lie down. Hey. Uh, so, I'm afraid there's not much we can do about the sound. Uh, if things go well, I might invest in a couple of lapel mics. Of course, you just realise you can't see me, but you can hear me. You can barely hear me. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. What did I just say? <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, I was just explaining that the sound is coming from the overhead mics and that's it. So, I'm going to have a wee clank again on this. So this deafens you, it's your own fault. Okay, right, so the overhead mics are the only sound we've got. If, um, if things go well, we might invest in some lapel mics, but they cost a lot of money. So, if, you know, I don't really need them for anything else other than this. So uh, here we go. And uh, at the moment I'm looking at Gav's player cam. Hello Gav's player cam. And this is my player cam. Looking at Gav. That is Green Stuff Gav. Hello Gav. Hi Hamish. Hi Stream. How are you all doing? Apparently that's better with the sound. Right so again. get used to it. The sound is going to be coming. In. We're going to be moving around and stuff. It's not, you know, unless you want to make a big donation of about 150 quid per mic. We won't have lapel mics yet, so you know. Here we go. I'm just going to bribe the dog to be quiet for five minutes. <laughs> As you can see, we have loose, we have uh, individual cams. There you go, but. Yeah, as you can see, we have individual cameras. We have a dice cam. Mm -hmm. So you can see when we're rolling dice. And uh, what else? Yeah, main cam obviously there, so you can see the board. Woo! Yeah, cheap Lavellier mics exist, but they're cheap for a reason, mate. <laughs> yeah. I understand. I know, I know. No, don't spend £20 a day on MTG. Don't have £20 a day. Anyway, so tonight we're playing Blood Bowl. Now I'm going to flick you up for the main cam. Uh, so you can do your, your bit. So, uh, there we go. Hello, it's us. Right, uh, welcome to the first ever, ever Tabletop Tuesday. Oh, there's a lag there. Is the sound lagging with the video? We have got four cameras running, which probably doesn't help very much. Um, we'll see how it goes. Doesn't really matter. Most of the time you won't see us talking anyway. You know, you'll hear us. And, but you must be seeing our hands. I don't know why I'm doing that to the microphones. That should have done that to the cameras. So it doesn't matter. Uh, we, we'll, we'll investigate the technology as we go along. So, uh, we also have the ability to... Yeah, you won't really notice it anyway because you won't see our faces most of the time. This is just for the introduction. It's always a bonus not to see my face. Or mine. I wonder if these are better in sync. Nah, they look about the same actually. Yeah. Well, running four cameras, I'm not sure we're going to get much synchronisation, but we'll have a look. No sound. Of, yeah, there's sound on these cameras, but we're going to be handling them, so I'm not sure that's a good idea. We'll, we'll have a look at all this. This is his first one, so we're going we're gonna to try, see what we can do, what we can get away with. Bit of experiment, see what we can do with the technology. Yeah, see what we can do. But yeah, I, I might look at the cheap Lavellier mics, Lavellier mics, but um, I, I, don't, I know from experience that you know you, you might save money, but in the long run you'll end up, they won't last, they won't be very good, etc, etc. So anyway, uh, let's get this back onto the table. And I will cam to...
I just realised that, yeah, I've, I've, sorry, I forgot to copy the microphone over to the uh, other, ca- uh, other scenes as well. So that's my fault, sorry. <laughs> so, st- do you want to start that again from the... I'll do that again then. Sorry. So, <laughs> so, we're playing Blood Bowl, who many of you might have played. It is first released in 1986, um, by, written by Jervis Johnson for Games Workshop. Uh, it's had seven iterations. This is the latest edition, released last year. Games Workshop are still supporting it, which is unusual for their smallest level games, with new plastic teams, new expensive forge wood resin models, and still has worldwide tournaments independent from Games Workshop. So driven by a real good community of people who just love playing the game. Cool. So that's Blood Bowl now. What's going to happen tonight is Gav is uh, going to take me and you through how Blood Bowl works, how the rules work uh, for the new edition. We're going to play a, a sort of streamlined, simplified version, I think, just yeah. so that an idiot like me can get it all in one night. And then we're going to have a game and see how it goes. Um, we're, we're going to pretty much try and do something similar every week, have different games and show you, you know, having have, uh, all different views of things and what have you. Um, I will leave you with Gav for a second to, to sort of go through the rules. I am listening, I'm just going to go and copy the um, sound over to all the other things. Mm-hmm. So, Blood Bowl, you've got a team each player is generally, these are what's called the box team. So, these are what everything you see here comes in the box game. Um, you can buy your separate teams, build, there's a lot of rules for building your own teams, naming your guys. They can earn experience in games and so on and so forth. But we're not worried about any of that. This is the basic minimum you need to play. So we're basically playing a sort of skirmish, are we? Basically a skirmish. You're talking... Oh, an exhibition game. Hmm. You've got 12, 12 models aside for the basic teams. Um, you can have up to 14 models per side, uh, but only ever a certain amount on the pitch at once. So, right. every model has got their own stat line. Blood, the latest edition of Blood Bowl has got some really, really nifty um, stack cards, which I think are fantastic. Is So you can see each player. There is a website called, I think it's bbgridiron.co.uk, which has a variety of different cards for all the teams, um, because they were all released in separate books. So y- you can see your... Things like your movement allowance, how many squares you guys can go. You can see their strength, how hard they hit. You can see their agility, how good they are at stuff. Whether you're dodging, picking up the ball, throwing the ball, it's all on agility. And your armour value, how hard it is to hurt your dudes. Each team's got four different players on. Um, the human team, which is your Joe Bloggs. You've got your throwers, catchers, blitzers and linesmen. Throwers throw, catchers catch, blitzers hit things, and linesmen are just Joe Bloggs. The orcs are slightly different because orcs aren't the most agile of teams. So you've got your black orc blockers who hit things hard, your throwers, your blitzers who also hit things, and your linesmen who are your Joe Bloggs. While every team has its own strengths and weaknesses, so the humans are good at most things, orcs are very good at hitting things. Um, so they've got a bit of a trade-off. Like I say, humans will be interacting with the ball a bit easier, but when orcs hit you, they hit you hard. Right, so yours have got more skill, and you got more raw power. Exactly right. Okay. Oh yeah, in case you didn't notice, I'm playing the orcs. They haven't been painted yet. Gav is also an exceptionally good painter. He's got all red now. Um, but he will. we will show you them uh, later on. Once we've been painted, I'm, I'm sure we'll have Gav back to show you them. Uh, with that, or have Blood Bowl back to show you that. Gav's going to be here fairly regularly, I think. We're going to try and have you uh, as many times as much as we can. Uh, but also look out for a couple of other people, maybe on a, t- a Tuesday night uh, on the Tabletop Tuesday. Also, I'll probably be doing some solo stuff. Uh, don't worry, that's not anything rude. That just means I'll be playing games by myself. Right, let's have a quick catch up and chat before we go any further. Right, uh, what have we got here? Oh my god, there's loads. Uh, Right, first of all, hi Hamish and hi Gav. Hello John and hello everybody else. Um, blah, blah, blah. Had a, a fight with a hedge cutter. Yes, ha, 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 cut my hair. Uh, Gav, yeah, yeah, mics, yeah, yeah, cheap mic, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no, 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 no
Uh, and right ear only for you. Oh, that's. Is it, hmm. Is everybody getting that just in the right ear? That's weird. Shouldn't be. It's, it should be stereo, to be honest. You should be getting a, a, a you know, whole field. As long as you can hear it, something, that's what matters. And uh, what else now? Uh, and Zeus looks like, what are these humans on about? Yeah, Zeus has been a pain in the bum since Gav arrived. But that's, that's Zeus when there's humans around. Right, let's go back to the uh, stereo for you. Cool, that's fine. Um, yeah, hopefully it's all working for as many, as many of you as possible. So, Gav, how do we start? How do we set up then? Right, so the plays, the, uh, like many American football drives, uh, they're called turnovers. So you have a kicking team and a receiving team. In this instance, Hamish is going to kick and I'm going to receive. But normally you, you flip the coin, coin yeah. for it. But this means that I get to take the first turn to demonstrate what people can do and how the game generally operates. So, first of all, is you have the line of scrimmage. Okay. Yep. This is the centre line you see on many, many games. You've also got the two um, corridors, which uh, turn escapes me. Tram lines? So, possibly. There, I don't is, know there like, is a technical It's quite a lot of American football like, isn't it? So there's that, you know. I, I get that. I, obviously, that's another thing, just to let people know. I know, I understand American football. I'm, I'm quite a fan of American football, so I've got... A bit of knowledge of that, but uh, no knowledge of the game itself. And you've also got um, touch zones. So get the ball into the opponent's touch zone and you score a touchdown. Easy as that. Any rugby or American football fan will tell you. So as you're kicking off, Hamish, is you're going to set up your team first. Okay. Um, you must have three players on the line of scrimmage and up to two in each of the... Um, Tram lines. Outside the tram, outside yeah. the tram line. Inside. Yeah. Up to two inside, and you must have at least three on the line of scrimmage across the whole line. Right. Otherwise, you're free to put your guys wherever, but the ball is going to end up in my half. Yep, understood. So, you're, so I'm going to be going first, you're kicking to me. Right, I'm, I'm just so kind of looking at all these, so I want to identify what players. Your Black are Orcs are your big guys. So, this uh, is my Black Orc blockers. So let's get the card on there so you can see it all. So, ba, ba, ba. sorry about this, camera work's going to be shoddy. not great to look, yeah, shoddy, okay, that's, how does he not great until we get used to it, that's all right, there we go, that's what happens when Zeus doesn't get enough attention, I'm sure you can all hear that, so that's a black orb blocker, that's the first dude, quiet, you've uh, got, and that's, I've got, how many of them have we got, two of those, so I've got, like a, two of those, okay, you have got two throwers, Okay, that's the other one. Yeah, got my thrower, so that's, that's my, my quarterback sort of thing. Yeah, yep. then going to be throwing the ball. Yep. You have two blitzers. Uh -huh. Well, only two. Yep, they that's hit things very hard. Backers, linebackers then, yeah, okay. And then you've got six, six linemen, linemen yeah. or lines orcs, however you want to call them. <laughs> yeah, okay. Basic. So your, your basic orcs are going to be just your average Joes. Your black orcs are going to be hitting things very hard. And your blitzer is going to be hitting things moderately hard. So it's Iron Man. And all the players are on the team on the field all the time. Yeah. So it's like you know rugby or unless they get knocked American. down, knocked out. Well, yeah, yeah, but yeah. The same. So, and how many are on the field at a time? All of them. Um, I think it's fourteen off the top of my head, but um, the teams come with twelves because these are pre-made teams, yeah. so they're balanced. So that all two of these are on the board at the yeah. same time. Well, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So I set up the line, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm just going to go with what I know from like rugby yeah. and football. And One thing I will say as we go, throughout the game, you'll see obviously the guys that end up in the squares. Around the squares is what's called a tackle zone. So that's where they can reach. So if you're trying to move the ball into their tackle zones, it's going to get harder. If you're going to try moving through their tackle zones, it's going to be hard. So is that the squares surrounding the one he's in? Yeah. So you can hit anyone in your tackle zones. Right, okay. And everybody is, is, is grid layout then, yeah? So you yeah. set people up on the grid. Yeah, in, inside the squares. Right, okay, yeah. And it's, um, so I can have linemen on the outside of that, yeah? I'll have my... So mind, there's your squares. 
All right, yeah. The bases in this version of Blood Bowl are slightly bigger than previous editions. These are the new 32mm bases that Games Workshop are all about at the moment. I don't know if that's going to work, but never mind. I get the, you know, I'll yeah. get the idea as I go, okay? Yeah. Um, so you've got your other six guys as well. Right, so... Like, like I say, you can only have two in each of your end zones. So I'm just going to put my cards over here so I can see them. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, the, what's... Oh. Top of mine. Oh yeah, okay, there you go. I'm just trying to work out in my head what, you know, what yeah. does that correspond to, so... I well, probably want. If I were you, put this guy here. That oh, they're like end line. Like yeah. end, end line. Yes. Yeah. So because your blockers hit hard, you want them front and center. Same with your blitzers. Oh right. Okay. They're on the line. Right. Okay. That doesn't. Right. Okay. But so both blitzers are on the line then. I would. <laughs> Oh, okay. This is this is different from what I would expect, then, right? and everybody's a bit more. It's, a, yeah, it's, it's a bit more symmetrical as well. Because no, symmet symmetrical doesn't make a lot of difference. Your main, obviously, your main focus is stop your opponent getting into your half. You want to be pushing your opponent back towards theirs. Um, orcs play very aggressively and like to hit things a lot because they don't really know what to do with the ball. <laughs> okay. Um, let's have. Okay, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing, but we'll, we'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there. And I'm see. also forgetting what's what as well by looking at these. That's throwers, I know that much. Yeah. Your blitzers have got little um, mo mohawk, uh, little ponytails. Oh, yeah, mohawks. right, okay. And your black orcs are huge. So the big ones are the black orcs, that's yeah. kind of easy to see them, yeah. Right, okay, let's stick them in there. Blitzer, put a mohawk, that blitzer. Well, there's a quite, quite a tight fit on the board, aren't they? Mm. Uh, I guess I'll put a couple there and a couple there. Then. So that yeah, only two, two in each end. Oh, two in each end. Then. Right. Okay. Oh, so they aren't symmetrical. Yeah, it's quite difficult to be symmetrical. There. Okay, and then my thrower somewhere behind here. Anywhere, yeah. Just any anywhere will do. So it's like you've got two quarterbacks then, have you? Mm -hmm. Better not call quarterbacks. You get it right. <laughs> But I know I'm receiving, so I'm going to place my guys slightly different. And the movement is in squares, I've taken it. So yes. MA? MA, yeah. movement allowance. Right, okay. You think the orcs are hard to identify, wait till you see the humans. <laughs> yeah, if, it were, if, it were, if I bought a set of this, I would mark the bases slightly, either different colours or with a mark on the back of them or something, so I could see which is which from at a glance. That's just me. <laughs> You can see Hamish from two angles. I hope they're both good angles. Mm. Sorry, I think I just terrified Gav. There's a mental image for you. Right. right, so in this. What, what are these ones again? These are catchers. You won't have these. These oh. guys are designed. Receivers, yeah. yeah. Receivers. So the way Blood Bowl works, um, because every time a touchdown happens, this happens. So you're kicking to me, so you're going to place the ball anyway in my half. Right, where's the ball? Um, we have a little blue ball. All right, okay. You get four ball, uh, four, four balls in each box, but um, so there's four green balls, four blue balls, but a blue one's easier to see on camera. Okay, <laughs> so we've got blue balls then. We've got blue balls. Okay, and what? Just put it in any square. Anywhere you like, but it's going to move d6 squares, and if it goes off the pitch, I automatically receive it. So. Better off putting it up here then. No. You're, you're D6 right. that way. Uh, D6 in a random direction. Oh, I see, right. But before we do that, there is what's called a kickoff table where each of us are going to roll one dice and see what random thing happens. Just a normal dice? Yep, normal D6. So it's one that I have. So you've got a four and I've eventually got. Oh, come on. That's good going. Two, no, four as well, right? Eight. Okay. Did you not think of chairs? No, I don't want chairs. Chairs? We're going to be moving around. I've deliberately put the chairs out of the way. Basically, each of us roll D3, and whoever rolls highest gets a free re-roll, which I'll explain when we get to it. 
D6, you mean? Yeah, just roll D6 and we'll see. Off. So we both roll the four, and I roll the right. Okay. So I get an extra reroll. That's all that does. Right. And what's this? These. So on your board, we have a score count. Let's see if I can get my. So it's on one, yeah. Yep. Score count. You have your reserves, blokes who have been beaten up a bit, <laughs> and blokes who are dead. Oh, right, okay. So there's. Yeah, okay. It's pretty extreme then. These are the turn counters. So you've got first half, second half. It's only eight turns per half. Gotcha. Um, the turn counter is very important, which I'll explain in a moment when we get to it. And re-rolls, which is how many, if you don't roll a dice you don't like, once a turn, you can use a re-roll to re-roll that dice. Ah, right, okay. Sometimes it ends up worse. But um, we will come again, re-rolls as we re-rolls. The humans start with four, the orcs start with three, and I've just got an extra one from that dice roll. <coughs> well, I've only got three. Yeah, you got three. I start with four. Oh, I see that. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. The, um, the kickoff table can have random things from given extra turns to a um, pitch invasion, which ends up with players dead and bleeding out. But Ooh, hopefully. Sorry, excuse my sneezing. This is brilliant. I've got a, got a sneezing fit coming on. Then. Well, because you're kicking off, uh -huh. you're going to roll a d8 to see which direction the ball goes, and, and a d6 to see how many squares it goes. Okay, I see. So it's going to go direction two. Direction two. You yeah. show me that, yeah. And that's uh, five squares. So it's going to go one, two, three, four, five. That's where the ball ends. And well, that's a good kickoff. If, if it's any like uh, rugby or football, you know. no, you, uh, yeah, because you want to get it that side. I want to get it that side. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> good for me, yeah. Good yeah. for you. It's a good kickoff. Yeah. So, we then go on to the receiving team's first turn. Now, blood bowl. People will tell you the most important rule. Uh -huh. The number one important thing is your turn counter. If you fail to move your turn counter, you either lose a reroll, your opponent gains a reroll, or your turn ends. Right, okay. The first one's always free. I'll always remind you the first time. But after that, so my turn one. So you can see I've put it turn one. Okay. Each model can do one thing a turn. It's good to do to the card, yeah. Yep. It's good to do your low risk things first because if you fail something, if you drop the ball, one of your players falls over, it ends your turn. Right, so that's likely so, to happen, is it? They fall over. Um sometimes, depends if enemies are nearby. So I'm gonna go first with my most important thing is my catcher. This guy here is gonna go and try and pick up the ball. Okay. So he has got a movement allowance of six. So he's going to go one, two, three. Okay. So he's on the square with it, yeah. And then he needs to roll equal or under your agility. Okay. If you're picking up the ball, you get plus one. If you're in an opponent's tackle zone, as I explained, you might get minus one. There's a wide range of things. There's a skill called sure hands, which gives you a re-roll. Which none of your guys are good. I hope your throws can do. Yep. So, I need to roll a four or less to pick the ball up. So why four or less? Because your guy is it's agility three. Agility three, and you've got what, where's the plus one coming from? Plus one for picking up the ball. For picking up the ball, right? Okay, just make sure. So I've rolled a five. This guy picks the ball up. So he's used three squares, four squares, five squares, six squares. Now you can move the rest of the way, okay? And then what I normally do is to so show that my guy's in, I will turn them to face backwards. I know that guy's done. Each guy can only do one thing, and you have to do complete that move. So you have to do the whole move? Yeah, you can't like come back to a guy later and do something else. Right, then. so all of his... So this guy's going to go one, two, three, four. Now how, that's the... Why is that one only moving four, but that one moves six? He can move up to. Oh, I see, right. So that's the sort of strategy thing then. Right, I'm going to start doing some risky things now. Oh my Just gosh. so that we can show people punching people. Right. So we can punch them in the here. face. 
when you're next to someone, instead of moving, you can throw what's called a block, which is just smack them in the face. Okay. The way this works is you look at people's strength value. My guy is strength three. Your guy is strength three. Uh, which one is he? He is a linesman. A lines orc. Right, okay, that one there, right. So yep. strength three, yeah. So if you're equal, you roll one of both custom block dice. This one? Yep. Uh, I'll be rolling it because I'm the one throwing it. But If you are a higher strength, you roll two dice. Right. If you are double strength, you roll three dice. So having a higher strength guys, like your black dice, are strength four. So they hit harder, so they'll be throwing two dice against one of my guys. Right. However, one of the more, possibly the most complicated rule they've got is assisting. If you have a guy next to you, you can use their strength as a bonus. So I'm strength three, strength four. Your guy is strength three, strength four. So plus one for the guy next to him. So if we're like that, I'm strength three and you're strength four. The guys cancel each other out. So if I'm like that, I'm so if we're like that, I'm strength three, you're strength three. I'm strength three, you're strength four. And then we're both strength three there because these two guys cancel each other out. Okay. Does that make sense? I think so. Just go quickly to the chat. Uh, Hey, Canseco, uh, Offensive Polygon, whoever else has not said hello to you yet. Hello, everybody. Uh, oh, he's got an Elden Ross for, or roster for Blood Bowl somewhere. Okay, so Canseco knows a bit about this. I know nothing about it, apart from what I've learned so far. The key thing to bear in mind with elves, they're very squishy, very fast, and they do everything on a two. Okay. Right, so this guy is throwing a block against this guy. Okay. We're both strength three, so I'm only rolling one dice. Okay. The results can be... It can be a pushback, it can be a guy pushed over and smashed down. Right. Smashed unless they have dodge, and smash unless they have block. And skull, which you don't want to see, means your guy falls over. Oh, okay. What, well, your own guy? Yes. Oh, right, okay. So ideally, I'm looking for the double explosions. Okay. But we will see. I'll just check I'm right with that one. Defender down, so he's put, pushed back and knocked over. Defending players pushed back and knocked down and in the square they are moved to. Right, okay. So when you push someone back, you've got three squares available. This one, this one, this one, and I choose. You choose, right. Yeah. So I'm going to push him down to there. And when you push someone over, you can follow up, which I'm going to do. Now when your guys get knocked over, whether your opponent knocks them over or you fall over, Either way, you're going to roll two dice and try and bust their armor value, and you've got to beat their armor. Right. Your guys are armor nine, nine which is pretty high. I My nine. guys are armor eight. Right. So I need to roll a ten to, for him to even notice it. So I'm going to roll two dice and roll a three, which is nothing. Bounces okay. off him. But you did knock him down. Knock him down. So his next turn, he's going to have to spend three squares of his movement to get up. Okay. But the key to this now is this guy's strength three, strength four, because this guy's nearby. All right, okay. So I'm now rolling two dice. Now this, I've I've one with my, a skull. I've got my card here, the one with a yeah. skull. Is both down. Attacking player is knocked down. As well as the defending player, then, unless they have block. Oh, sorry, both down, right? Mm. And then the other one is an arrow, same push. Yeah. yeah. So if if I was only rolling one dice and I rolled that, mm -hmm. my guy would fall over as well. So both of us would fall over. But because I've rolled the push, I obviously want to take the push. Oh, so you get to choose the better of the two dice. Yeah. Push doesn't knock them down; it just moves them. No. Yeah, push just moves them. Okay. So let's go lie down, bud. Now with this, this that frees up my catcher guy who got a massive movement of eight so he's going to go one two three four five six seven eight all right so it's not so the movement for the kickoff honestly oh, catcher guy right sorry i'm confused that's right confused myself 
Zeus is looking at me all poppy eyes now. Mm -hmm. Right, we're going to follow up by doing the same here. So this guy is going to block this guy. Okay. I'm strength three, you're strength three. Okay, right, okay. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. And that is a, can you see that on camera? Yep, that's a push. Push. So your guy, this time, I'm going to follow up by pushing him there. But I'm not following up. The reason being, I'm now strength three, strength four. Because you still got the guy next to him, right? Okay. Yeah, exactly right. So defender down. Defender the, down? Yep, the double explosion one. Okay. And the push thing, which obviously so you're not going to take. So I'm going to choose knock him down. Knock him there. I'm not following up with this guy either. And then I need to roll for your armor. Again, I need a 10, 6, 7, 8. Not enough. But what is? Is that the 1? No, that's no. the 6. That's the 6, right, okay. You'll find a lot of Blood Bowl is just bouncing off people's armor. Right, okay. Um, some teams are better than others. Um, the Amazons, for example, are all armor 7. You've got an Amazon team, haven't you? Oh, I saw you painting. That was one of your painting things. Oh yeah, I mentioned that before. Uh, before we go any further, if you look at the two individual cams, you'll see that um, the uh, there's a web address at the top of each. Mine, you know, the polarbear.co.uk. So that's that's on my camera. Woo! And on Gav's cam, it's his website, buildyourimagination.co.uk. And you see some of Gav's uh, excellent painting and lots of articles and whatever else. What else is on there? You've got a blog? Um, and the blog uh, updates every twice a week and is a variety of gaming related news. Um, we have the Build Your Imagination has galleries of completed works, as well as a variety of things like painting guides, converting guides, and general miscellaneous war games related stuff. Okay. Excellent. Just thinking, we could we could have uh, head mount cams. That's what we could. That's one. What's it called? GoPro. GoPro. Yeah. Actually, I've got two more of these. We could always uh, strap, strap them to, to our, our heads. Head. Yeah. But I think that might look a bit silly. I uh, just got to check up some things. In the face. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Zeus is just like you know. Yeah. And Zeus, you already know the rules. Yeah. Zeus knows the rules. Right, so things now get a little bit technical. Where you've got a huge amount of orcs in a line, mm -hmm. I'm going to struggle to punch through this, but I'm going to give it a go. Okay. So looking at it, basically, if this guy goes, you're higher strength than me, because you're strength four, strength five. So he's going to get mollered by this guy. So he doesn't get a six. No, nope, because two. this guy's in this guy's tackle zone. Ah, oh, right, of course, I remember the nine square mm -hmm. thingy before. Yeah, eight squares on right. Same with this This guy's strength three, strength three, but this guy is in this guy's tackle zone. Okay. Sorry, I should be lifting the camera to show people right. that. So this guy and this guy, because this guy is in his tackle zone. So we're going to throw one dice block on each of these. Okay. That's not a good one. <coughs> Which... So, we've rolled the exclamation mark, which is Defender. Defender stumbles, unless they use dodge skill. They are knocked over. Well, my guys don't have dodge, so I'm going to use one of my team re-rolls. You can use one a turn. Okay. To re-roll that dice. <laughs> which is both down. Oh, that's, uh, that's yours and mine that have fallen yep. down there. So, so my guy goes that. over, yeah. and your guy goes over. So, um, with that, I roll to try and beat your armour, which is armour 9. Uh, no, hang okay. on, which one is it? Um, oh yeah, he's yeah, there as well, yeah, it's only one guy that isn't. But, because my guy fell over, you get to try and punch through my armour, which is only armour 8. So if you can roll a 9 or better, you two beat d6. your armour. 2d6. 11. 11, so that's... Straight through the armour. Okay, so what does that do? You, there is an injury table you roll on. Oh, I see, right, yeah. And you roll two dice again, this is what happens to the guy. I roll six. six. Stunned. Leave the player on the pitch, but turn them face down. All face down players will turn face up at the end of the team's next turn, even if the turnover takes place. Mm -hmm. And you can't turn face up on the turn, you're stunned. Yeah. Once face up, they may stand up and any subsequent to the normal rules. Okay, right, okay. Now, because my guy fell over, mm -hmm. that is a turnover. The rest of my turn is lost. Oh. Because it's all gone horribly wrong. Which then leads us 
to orc turn one. Okay, so I go. Badum. Always move your turn counter. See, I, I do listen to you, man. That's I good. do listen, I listen. Right, okay. So, uh, basically, we're going after your guy with the ball, I'm assuming. <laughs> basically, you want to get that ball and smash it straight into my uh, end zone. Right, okay, let's see. So, uh, now this guy's down. No, he's stunned, so he can stand up. Face down is stunned. Face up is just knocked over. No, this guy. Yeah, this he's, guy's he's face up. up, so he's stunned. Uh, he's not stunned, he's just knocked over. Yeah. So yeah, you can just knock up, get up for three uh, three squares. So it costs the three squares of his movement to get yeah. up. Which he's most likely to do, I'd imagine. So his movement allowance is five, so it's up for three. Um, I'm guessing he's not going to move anywhere. No, I wouldn't. No reason to because do so. If you do move out of my tackle zone, you need to roll a, die, a dodge test. Okay. Hopefully you can see that. Not much. Yeah, we need, we need some sort of rail for the camera. Yeah. But this is getting a bit elaborate and uh, expensive sounding. So let's just kind of stick with this. So he's got up, so turn him to face back so we know he's been. Oh, you can't do an attack uh, block as well, right? Um, he can, but it's called a blitz. Um, you can only do so one. Can, can he, he can't move one over there, no? He can move, but you're moving out of a tackle zone into a tackle zone. So you're talking a dodge of a four, five, six for the tackle zone. So you need a six plus on one dice. To move that to move far. him. Oh, yeah. right, okay, right, forget that then, okay. So then I want, so this guy. He can throw a block. At this guy. Yep. Which we will do with the, no, does he get the plus one for that? No, because he's in this tackle zone. So he's engaged to him, yeah. basically, yeah. So these two are just, so it's one, one die. Yeah. So I'm strength three, you're strength three. Okay, let's get a little table handy. Oh, that's bad. Defender stumbles. Mm -hmm. Unless you guys didn't, we don't have that skill. He doesn't have dodge. No. Uh, so they're pushed back and they're not going to so what you Or use? you can use a team reroll. Oh, yeah. Hells. Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> roll it again. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. That's better. Oh, that's much better. That's defender down. So you're knocked down. And then. Pushed back and knocked down. Push back, not down the square they moved. So, so push back, you can do this square, this square, or this square. I think I'll put them there then. Yep. And push nope. him face up. Down, okay. Yep. Your guy can follow up if he wishes. So he can move one square? Uh, he moves into the empty square. So it's effectively like when they jostle. He's you know, taken over where he was. Yeah, and then turn him the face back. So that we know he's taking his turn. Yep. Now, because you've knocked one of my guys over, you need to roll an armour test. So oh, yeah. you can puncture his armour and do him serious injury. So, what's his armour? Uh, he, they are Seven. all armour eight. Oh, eight, he's eight. And he's nine or better? Three, no. that's nothing. Bounces off. Okay, but he, He's still knocked out of the way, which is important though. Okay, right. Uh, and then, he's, he's, that's not good, is it? Well, what I'm going to explain now yeah. is, a block <laughs> is when you start next to someone, you can throw a block against them, just punch them in the face. Okay. You can run up and punch people in the face, which is called a blitz. Which we want to do with Which you can guy, do one a turn though. For, well, well, all, throughout your whole team? Yeah, throughout your whole team, only one so, guy can throw a blitz. So I assume this guy is going to blitz this guy oh by yes. running up and then smack him in the face. He certainly is going to try. So he is uh, the thrower. Mm -hmm. He's got a movement of five. So one, two, three, four, five, is that right? Well, you're probably better off going four, at three, three, Four, five. Well, you don't want to move while in someone's tackle zone, basically, because you've got. Oh, once you're in the tackle yeah. zone, you've got to. Yeah, once you're in there, it's so very difficult. So it would have been better if you went there first and mm -hmm. then there. Oh no, because that's in the tackle zone. You move into the tackle ah, zone, right? Okay. You can't move within, so you can still move Three. there and throw the blitz that way. So four, and that's yeah. me in the tackle zone, yeah. and that's right. So and then okay. you can throw his blitz. Sorry, guys, we so keep forgetting to move the cameras. This is going to be awkward. Okay. Oh, of course they've got the main view as well, so they can get a bit of... Yeah. So... Hex wants to run and punch people, apparently. Well, you can only do it once a turn. <laughs> <laughs> Strap the cam to your crotches, apparently, is the uh, suggestion. Crotch cam, way. Pelvic thrusting. Yeah. Now, you're throwing a block, uh, effectively a block, but it's called a blitz because it, you've moved and done it. Right. So you're going to block my guy. Uh-huh. You are strength three. I am strength two, because he, catchers are weedy. 
Okay. So, so you're going to throw two block dice. Two block dice because I've got the one advantage of one. Higher strength. Okay. And I get well push back no or push, push back. Push back or push back. So I'll push back. But because you're on a corner, is this square, this square, or this square? Oh, I see. Right. Okay. And you can follow up if you wish to step next to him. Okay, so I'll push him back one square. Mm -hmm. Move there. And then turn in. And so he's, he's played. Yep. Yep. Hey, Hamish did a move. Hamish did a blitz and didn't fall over, which is good. Yeah, let's get this camera back here now for uh, effect. <laughs> so next, you can uh, you pick your next guy. Right, so I'll move down the line a bit then. Mm -hmm. So um, this guy, now does he get the plus one for that guy? No, because no. this guy is in this tackle zone. How do you decide which tackle zone he's in? Because he's if you're in any tackle zone, except for the guy that you're targeting. So ah, right, imagine gotcha, a square gotcha. that runs around this. Oh, no, no, I, I got yeah. that, but yeah, yeah, yeah no, but I was being a bit thick there. Anyway. So because it doesn't matter which one he's targeting, he's also in that other one yeah. anyway, right? But here's the thing, he's strength four basically, basic strength four. Which is much better than the other one, because three, presumably. Yeah. So, so who ma no matter who he hits, he's going to use two dice. So this guy here then will probably want to go in that one. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So big dude here attacking that dude there. Has he got two dice then because I've got the one over yeah, advantage? Yeah, because you're strength four and strength three. And we've got uh, a skull and the double explosion. Now one of those is really bad, one of those is really good. I think I'll take the one that's really good for me. Good so plan. defender down, so defender players push back, knock down. So this square, this square, or this square. Um, let's, mm, let's just keep him there. Uh -huh. yeah. And he's on his back. Yeah. Okay. Your bloke can follow up if he wishes, but it makes no odds. Um, no, I don't think I will actually. Mm -hmm. Just go right there. Then roll for your armour to see if you can hurt the guy. Right, and it's ten or better, isn't it? No, uh, nine, nine or better. Nine or better. Nine or better. Whoops. That's a six. Where'd the dice go? It's a four, but that doesn't count. No, it's got to be on the box, on the box. It's got to be on the box. <sighs> Missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Nine? Nine. Nine is better than eight, so you go through the arm. So what happens to him now? Is an injury table? You're all on the injury table. Which I've lost. Uh, on the... Oh, I see it, I see it, I got it, right. So I'm on, I'm, I've got my injury table. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see. Five, same again, stunned. So face down. Okay, right. And then turn him to face because he's been... Uh, so he's made his move, whoops. This is quite awkward with the figures, isn't it? Mm. A bit. Squares are a bit smaller than the little bit. figures. The, um, the the video game Blood Bowl by Cyanide Studios just had Blood Bowl 2 out and it is identical to the game, board game, but it's on the PC and so everything's animated and you see all your dudes running around. <laughs> right, okay, so now I'll just move on. To, well, so this guy, can he do anything? He can move. He can move because he's not in a. Yeah, because he's not in a tackle zone, but you've thrown your one blitz of the turn. So he can't hit anyone, but he can move where you like. Can he be in. Can he end his turn in a tackle zone yes. still? You can so he can still move yeah. to a tackle zone. Yeah, you can in, move into tackle zones without problem, but when you move in, t uh, in tackle zones or around tackle zones, you get troubles. So moving into one is fine. Right, okay. Because moving while in is the difficult part. Okay. So. He's moving as five. See, I don't, I don't know, obviously because I've not got the, the gist of it yet, I'm not yeah. sure what's worth moving and what's not. So, I guess one, two, and then he's in, a, he's in the tackle zone. Mm -hmm. Does people who are stunned and down, they still count as a tackle zone? No. No, so it's just that guy that's counting. Yeah. Or that guy, obviously. Mm -hmm. Right, so. So turn in the face. Turn in the face, I know he's been. Dude here. Yep. He's now, he, which one is he? He is a Black Hawk Blitzer as well, so he is strength four. Because his mate's next to him, he is strength five. Right, okay. If you hit strength six, you were three dice, but you're still on two. Right, what's your... I am strength three. So because he's one more... No, he's two more. He's two more. If you, you need to be double, three or more to get yeah. the extra one. Yeah, you no, know, you need to be double. All right. So this guy, because he's strength two, if you hit strength four, you get three dice. Gotcha. So, so, so. so now I'm two dice mm -hmm. for that guy and to that guy. And uh, ooh, that's not good. not good for either of them. Actually, really. it's not too bad for you. Oh, it is actually because Black Hawk Walkers don't have block. 
Okay. So, but I can re-roll if I want, yeah? No, you've used your... It's only got one per turn, yeah? One per turn. Right, okay. So I'm going to have to do them both down then, yeah? Yeah. So you could choose to just your guy down, but... but... No, that's not going to happen. Yeah, so... They're down, yeah, okay. So now you get to roll for armour? Oh, it's because they still hit him. Yeah, you still smashed him hard. Nine. Nah, four. Nope. <laughs> but because your guy went down, I control and roll. Okay. But again, you're armour nine, so I need a ten. Six, Six is not good enough. Okay, so we're safe. Now, because one of your guys fell over, that is a turnover. So that's the end of the turn, right, okay. Yeah, the end of your turn, so. My turn, two. Okay. So, what am I going to do... I am going to go three squares to stand him up. Okay. So the dog's just uh, bugging me. Go and lie down. Sorry, man. Keep yeah. talking. <laughs> All right. So this guy's going to stand up because he's not going to do anything else either. Right, the guys who are face down can't do nothing. So well, they can't do anything this turn. No, they get they turn they roll over at the end of my turn. <laughs> gotcha. Thank you. This guy's going to go one, two, three, four, five. So into your tackle zone. Okay. So he's going to just stand there and be a distraction. He's not the one with the ball. Oh, no. Oh, okay. That's this guy here who's going to go. I'm going to move this guy just the one, and then I'm going to blitz with this guy. Right, so he's going to move so up past the tank or block. One, and then throw the blitz. Okay. So, so he gets the two dice. Two dice, two guys. And I'll have to take the push. And Oops. then he will end there. So you not turn around? Yeah, I'm facing this way when they've been there. Because last time oh, I faced that way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, this way. See? Alternate, yeah. Uh, which gives me this guy a nice run to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight? Oh, because the guy that's down doesn't mm -hmm. have a zone. Right, okay. So one, two, three. I'm going to actually move him to there instead. Okay. Right. And then, just so that we can try the rule, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. He's going to try throwing the ball. Oh, okay, right, okay. To this dude here. To this dude here. Which I haven't done in a long time, because I, I play Amazons, we don't throw the ball. So, we've got this really handy range ruler. And we can see we are three balls away. Pardon? <laughs> e. Away, right? okay. Which I'm going to have to look up because it's been a long time since I've thrown the ball. Okay, throw, throw, throw. Pass. Measure yeah, for range. Measure for range, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, so thankfully the range isn't actually on the reference sheet. Oh, that's helpful. No one ever throws the ball. Oh, right. <laughs> it's a running game then. Yeah, basically. is. Um, some, some teams like your elves are very good at throwing the ball, but no one else bothers. So I've got to make an agility test because I am throwing a long pass. I get negative one. So I'm at agility three, which gives me a four plus, which becomes a five plus to throw an accurate pass. Sorry, so start that again. All right, sorry. You're at my agility three, uh -huh. which means I throw the ball accurately on a four plus. Gotcha. I'm throwing a long pass, so that becomes a five plus. If it's inaccurate, it's harder to catch. Okay. So I need... Five or more. So five or six, basically. Yeah. Isn't it? <laughs> I've got a skill called pass, which lets me re-roll, I think. Which I need to look up. Because, heaven forbid... Yeah, we don't get it wrong on the internet. Oh my god. You know what that would end? That would end in a uh, disaster. How's chat doing? Can you see enough to be going on with? Is it making some sort of sense? 
Sorry, there's nobody buggered off. They all ran away. <laughs> They've all given up. My farmer accents put them all off. <laughs> yep. So I'm able to re-roll it because I have a skill called pass. Okay. So I need a five plus for this to be accurate. How many re-rolls? Just one re-roll. Just, yeah? just the one re-roll for my skill, or okay. I can use a team one. But obviously, five plus. Five plus. So you did it then. So that. Well, I've thrown it accurately. This guy's got to catch it, yeah? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So the ball has reached him. He's reached him. So it's an accurate pass, so I get plus one. So... Sorry, just thumbs up into chat. Thumbs up into chat. So my agility is three, which means I catch on a four. It's accurate, so I catch it on a three. How do you know if it's accurate, sorry? Because I made that pass. Oh, so if you... If, that, if, I, if I failed that five plus... It would be an inaccurate pass, which would be harder to catch. Oh, so it still be in the general direction. But it's still in the play. yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, it's harder to get. But that's, so that's basically you. You've got the ball directly to your receiver, mm -hmm. so it's up to the receiver to catch it. Up to him to catch it. He's also got a skill called catch, which, funny enough, lets me re-roll catches. Oh, well, that's interesting. So he's got a three plus, which he does as well. I like these dice. <laughs> so he's now got the ball, but All because right. he's been, he can't do anything else. He's moved into position. He's gone. You move to him at the first yeah. thing, you're right. So that's this guy gone, this guy gone, these guys are gone. Just got this guy here to do, and that guy there who's going to get mobbed. I'm going to try showing you a dodge function. Mm -hmm. So, as I said, if you're in a tackle zone, okay. is it's very difficult to move. Now, my guy is going to try moving out of the tackle zone. So to do that, he's got to make a dodge roll. Sorry, I'm looking at the, uh, the chart. Uh, I don't know if it'll be on the chart. Right, okay, yeah, play with all that yep. skills. Movement. It'll be under movement. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, each thing on the uh, Roll in the agility table, so everything's in the agility, that's mm -hmm. fine, yeah. So, I'm agility three, which okay. means I need a four plus. Okay. I'm moving into an unoccupied square, which gives me plus one. So, I do it on a three plus. And he's got a skill called dodge, which gives him a re-roll. Right, okay, so you've got to get three, uh, four, no. Four up, three up for going into an empty square. Right, okay. So I need a three plus with a re-roll. You've already moved them. Not this guy, this guy. No, no, I mean... You, you yeah, yeah, I've moved him once. Where because, you want to go? Yeah, this is where I want to go. If I fail, I fall over in that square. Ah, right, okay. So he's moved once. I thought you had to twice. roll it to move for three times. Three, four, five, six, seven... Eight. Oh, that's not good. Does that mean you've got a receiver right next to the end zone there? But these guys aren't as good at throwing, so... Oh, of course, yeah, he would have to throw it again, mm -hmm. wouldn't he? Right, okay. I think that might be it for my turn, because if I throw a block yes. here... But I haven't used a... I haven't used a, a re-roll yet, so this guy's throwing a block here, but you, I get two dice and you would pick because you've got the higher strength. So you get two dice and I pick? No, yeah, because your strength is higher than my strength. Ah, oh, right, okay. So I'm just seeing if it's worth doing or not. <coughs> I don't think it's worth doing, so I'm not going to, because Blood Bowl is all about not getting your guys killed. So it's the end of my turn, so my guys who are down are going to roll over. And then, it's going to be... I'll let you do that. You know what I mean? No, <laughs> have to. Uh, and then, it's going to be the orc turn two. Okay, so move the turn counter. Move your turn counter. Number one ruler, Blood Bowl. Move your turn counter. So, I have moved my turn counter. And now, I have to decide what to do my turn. So... Um, none of my dudes are on the front, so they're Yeah, so they can all get up as three squares of their movement. This guy, for example, if he gets up, he's free to move because this oh, guy's right, down. Oh, right, because there's no there. Okay. Yeah. But it's too late to get him anyway, so... Yeah. This but he could go back right. that way, yeah. So if he has three, mm -hmm. and his movement is... Which one is he? Oh, he's a long one. So it's five. So we can only move two more. There is an extra rule here, I'll explain, but I don't know if you want to do it. Okay. There is a rule called going for it, where you get extra, roll, extra squares of movement, but on a dice roll of one, you fall over. 
Oh, right, okay. So like a critical loss. Yeah. Um, it's called going for it. You can go for it twice, but if you fail and fall over, it turn, ends your turn. So. Yeah, so I don't want to do that. I just know. No. So I just turn him around and say he's yep. finished? Yep. Okay. Now he's done that. Right. Oh, wait a minute. Should I be turning these guys? Yeah, turn them all to face that way to start with. And it's no turn them that way, right? Yeah. Okay. So turn them all to face. And then we know who's been and who hasn't. Right, that's really confusing me. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a bit of a habit that at the end of my turn, I always turn all my guys just to, so that I know who's been and who ha uh, check everyone's been. Okay, so so now he's turned the back again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this guy's been. So you pick your next guy who you want to go. Right, so I'm guessing I want this thrower dude to try and Blitz. get into the yeah, get into his face. Running punch in the face. Uh, a running punch in the face, yep. Punch in the face, in the face, in the face. So in a face. In a face. And Mork's so like Ugh. Right, now it is foot movement at five, but he's stopped once he's in his zone. Yes. So I want him to go one, two, three, four, five, is that right? If I want to get in front of him? Well, you'd actually have to come here because it costs one square to blitz. So you've only got a movement of four effectively. Alright, so three, so I'm going to, have to go four, there. And then blitz that way, yeah. Right, so no, don't turn around. Yeah, turn around, it's, we know he's been then, so we're. we're okay, so now he's going to blitz him? You're strength three, I am strength two. So they get two dice? Yep, yeah, certainly do. Not great. I'm not, I'm not having much luck with these, am I? Um, so both down, I guess, we're going for. Or you have a team reroll. Yeah. Um, well, you're close to scoring if I don't get you. Well, can I ask, well, obviously, I don't know, what happens if, if you do get knocked down with the ball then? That's the, the ball question. scatters. It scatters according to that strange template we used earlier. Oh, right, I see. So, um, I don't think that's going to be bad for me, to be honest. Um, it would mean that it's loose is your only concern is because it ends your turn because your guy falls over. Right, okay. So I'll reroll. <laughs> right, so that's... Yep, down to one. Down to and one. then roll both dice. So... Ah, oh, come on. Oh, for <laughs> fuck's sake. So this is the end of the turn now. So both our guys fall over. On the back. Mm-hmm. So and the ball is there, well, it's we'll going to move. Resolve the armour first. Oh, right, okay. So if you would like to roll to try and punch him, I'm easily armour seven on this guy. Oh, okay, so eight or better. Six, bugger. And then your guy is armour nine, so tens. Nope, okay. So we have got the chaos template. So you're playing this way. So basically you roll a d8 to see which direction the ball goes in. Right, can we see that? Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. How do you know which direction to make a face? Um, I don't know if there's a matter, but it doesn't really matter. You're going to roll yeah. it down, that's all. Okay, so D8 to make the direction. Wait, where is it lands? Eight. Direction eight, so... Oh, bollocks. <laughs> it lands there. Right, okay. Now, an interesting... Well, it's only moves one square. Right? Yeah, it only ever bounces once. Uh, the interesting thing is, if it had happened in the centre of the scrum, or the ruck there, um, and it lands on one of your players, you can grab it out the air. Oh, right, okay, fair enough. But because he's down, he's not going to do it. Yeah, it's just basically a bank stone. It's bugger. And that's the end of my turn as well. Cause it certainly is. Down. So we'll just turn all these guys around there. <laughs> or it might be easier just to turn the guys who have been. As long as they're all facing the right direction, that's the important thing. That's mm -hmm. it, because yeah, he went. So he can't get up either? No. Could I have made them get up first? Oh, no, because you've got to make your whole move with one yeah. guy first. So you could choose to just get him up and end his turn, and then he's up at least. Right, okay. But now, oh dear, I think I think I've made a mistake. Well, the die roll didn't help, but yeah. <laughs> I'm going to blitz. I think no, because he goes there. So I'm going to get some guys up first. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, do what I should have done. So I'm going to get this guy up first, so he's facing backwards because he's been, he's not going anywhere. Okay. I think. Ooh. Eight. Go for it, go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go for it, go for it. Hmm.
this guy's gonna blitz there. Uh, so I'm gonna two. go one, so you don't need two to blitz. So it's just a one dice blitz. And that guy is what is that guy? I can I can't tell. That guy is a lines more lines orc. Are you sure? Yeah, because your blitzes have got plenty down. Right. Okay. Um. So mm. you don't have those spiky bits. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're at the back of the hand. The arm. Right. Okay. That's at the back. Right. So I rolled an exclamation mark. Unless the defender has dodged, they are pushed back and knocked out. So my lineman? Mm -hmm. No, he's not going to dodge. I'm going to push him to there and follow up. Okay. And then... Then the dog's behind you. Nine is not no, enough. enough to break your armour because you're armour nine. This guy's going to stay where he is. He's been... One, two, three, four, five, six. So he's going to tuck in there. Okay. One, two, three, seven, eight. Just in case. Now this guy, we're going to go three. Four. Right. So Try and pick it up the ball. Okay. So he's agility three, which is a four plus. He is picking up the ball, which is plus one, which is a three plus. Three plus. Makes sense. Okay. And if it doesn't, it drops and bounces again. Well, he's got. Oh no, he's got catch. Catch isn't catch isn't picking up the ball. So yeah. Uh oh. Ooh. Trust. So it's three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm confused. He's moving eight. He's movement. Yep. And right, okay, yep. What's now, his movement six? What's he's movement eight. Oh, one of the one of the moves is for picking up the ball. Yeah. Got it, right, okay. Because I thought it would be better than no, he was He was here, so he went one, two, three, four, five. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so he's, so the, the picking up the ball thing doesn't count as no, movement. No, it's only blitzes. When ball. he moves through the square, yeah. that's right. Okay, okay. But then, I'm going to go for it once. How do you go for it then? As I was saying, on a one, he falls over. So you move one square, right? And he doesn't fall over. He doesn't fall over. It's tempting to push it another one, but I'm not going to. I, you can go for it twice. But. If you drop the ball in the end zone, is that a You've got to be off? holding it. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. If you drop oh. the ball before the end zone. If it's zone. in the end zone, that's fine. But if it goes off the pitch, you scatter it back onto the pitch. Right, okay. Right, so where are we going to go next? So these guys have been. This guy's going to throw a block there. So one dice block because just the one on one. Push back. Now, these two squares you can't go into because it's off the ball. Off the pitch. Off the pitch. pitch. So you've got to go there. If I'd thrown it there and pushed you back, you go into the crowd, which is instant damage. Oh. But if there is a legal place to put them, you must put them in a legal place. Okay. Just like with women. Uh, okay. <laughs> you get mad at them. Yeah. No, let's not go there. Let's not go. Right. So I'm going to go three. So he's going to go three, four. And then this guy's going to throw a block there with the assist. Okay. So I'm strength three, strength four, and you're strength four as well. So one dice block, because that's your black orc. I can do that, yeah. Oh, no. So the attacker falls down. I'll use a reroll for that one. Okay. Push. Okay. So you're in this square? No, he's in the one next to it. That, that's yeah. Right. That goes on that square. So I'm going to push you back to this square and follow up. Because then you can only squish one guy. Okay. So this guy is going to throw a block with the assist here. So this guy's throwing it. So I'm strength three, strength four. So that's two dice. 
Bad? Bad for you. Oh, he's not. Why? No, oh, I'm confused. It says both down or attacker down. Oh, it's right. So it's my eyesight. That's defender down. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. So he's going to follow up. Then we're going to try punching through the armour. No. Nowhere near. And then that's just this guy. Who's going to go one, two. Can these guys still do something? Yep. Yeah. Which we're going to get to now. So that gives them the advantage of having the dude with them. Yeah. But there's still only one dice because he's in his tackle zone. So he's throwing a block there, but you get an assist and I get an assist. So they cancel. So it's still only one dice. Okay. But it's the best I can get over there. Fender stumbles. Unless they use a dodge skill. So I'm going to push into there. Follow up to me. No, I'm not following up. Nothing for armor. Because that then gives me one dice there. Because strength three, strength four, strength three, strength four. So he's going to throw it on this guy. Okay. Straight dice. Uh oh. On doing? the table. Correct the thing. And unfortunately. So what happens? Both down. Both down. So I go down. So do you. So break your armor. Mm. Nine, not quite. But you get to roll to break mine. Because I fell over. Right, okay. Uh, eight? Not quite. I'm armor eight. Ah, right, okay. But my guy fell over, so. End of your turn. End of my turn. Okay. Hmm. Right, let's, um, right, let's start with getting people up then. So that's three, but I'm just going to keep them there. That's done. Um. He's going the other way down, shouldn't he? No, he's... Right, so now he's done. Mm -hmm. Placing board is done. Yep, so three for him to get yep. up. Uh, can he, he can't get out of that, no? No, uh, well you can try dodging out, but you've got dodged either this way, or dodge into a tackle zone, which is very hard. Your other option is, sorry, I'll just lean down, mm -hmm. is to get up, blitz, so three, four, Five to follow up, six, seven. So you really, if you go for it twice, you can end up in my square, which makes it harder for me to actually move. Right, okay. Well, I'm going to leave him for now then and move mm -hmm. on to another one. So this dude here, so I still can't recognize him. He's a just a normal orc, lined orc. So five? Strength three. Uh, well, oh, yeah, yeah, so one, two, three, five. But oh. you're moving out of the tackle zone. So you've got to take a dodge roll. Mm. Okay, right. I'll... So to break it down, a dodge roll will be your agility three, so that's going to be a four, but you're going into an empty square, so that becomes a three. The so good, the good way to work out the agility chart is minus your stat from seven. Okay, I think you just made my brain blow up. When Sorry. Um, so your agility three. Yep. So if you want to pick up the ball, it's a four. If you want to move, it's a four. Uh -huh. But then your modifier is uh, what adjusts things. Yep. So basically, your stat minus seven is whatever your agility is. So your black orc is agility two. So he want he does things on fives. That makes sense. Yep. So, but if you're dodging, so because you're going into an empty square, you get plus one. So you're going to go three plus to move out of the dodge. So basically, I get back to three. So if I do that, but if I fail this, it's the end of my turn, is it? If you fail it, you fall over. Which is the end of my turn. But you have got a reroll, so it depends what you want to use your reroll for. Right, so I want to roll a three or better. Well, you want to move in first, so you move in here, so uh -huh. one square. Yeah. Although, to be honest, I'd move that way, but one square. Uh -huh. So now you need three plus. Six. Six, yeah. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I'm going to stick them there. 
Now you can go, go for it, go for it, or go for it, go for it, to make it harder for me to move, because I've got to dodge out of your tackle zone, because that's your tackle zone, remember? Right. But that involves rolling a 2 plus 2 plus. But all you've got to do next time is move into the end zone, yeah? Yeah. So, you know, nobody else is in range, are they? So, I think that's the only chance I've got, really, of mm -hmm. stopping them. So, so, go for it once. And I need to roll anything but a 1. 2 plus. Okay. Go for it twice. Uh, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Yeah. Right, okay. And then turn him to face. So at least now I've got to make a dodge roll. I can't just step into the end zone and go, woohoo. Right. Okay. I've actually got to try and dodge, which is a dice roll. Right, okay. So he can get up now for three. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry, drop that way, isn't it? So he yeah, gets up for three. That way. Not until his turn's finished. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. And. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, getting them. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's getting up for three. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm going to go right. I'm just going to let him leave him. Yeah, I'm just going to leave him there. there. Yep. So he's turned the thrill that he's finished. Same with him, I'm just going to get him up for three mm -hmm. and turn him. Going to get him up for three. Turn I'm just thinking about whether what doing else, but yeah, you're right. I'm just going to say he's finished. Now this guy is. Free to get up. Yeah, that's fine. I get it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. Um, where's that guy? Then that's good. So, free to get up. Mm -hmm. And he's got. Blitz. That's six. Yeah. So, this guy can move another three. Mm hmm. Okay, so I'll move them up. One, two, three. Okay, mm -hmm. and he's turned the right way yep, now. Yeah, facing the right way. No, he's a thrower, isn't he? Yeah. So his movements of five. One, two, three, four, five. Turn the right way. Mm -hmm. uh, oh shit! I should have. Yeah. Oh no, I didn't do anything that made it. Yeah, yeah I'm done anything dice roll. There's so yeah. many dice rolls that you need to work. Think about. Right, so he's going to Well, this guy at the moment is un unoccupied as well, so he's not in a tackle zone. So he's free to do what he likes. Oh, because that guy's down. Mm -hmm. Right. And he's a lineman. Yeah. But he's also given them boosts. No, he's not, is he? No, because he's, he's not a tackle zone himself, yeah? No. Yeah, okay, so that. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Look where he's run for the ball. And this guy is going to get up. Oops. Yeah. And wreck all your guys, sorry. Mm -hmm. Three. So he's up for three. But he's in his tackle zone. Yeah. So if you want to come out, you've got to dodge. Uh, I'm going to leave him there just now. Then. He's probably going to get killed, but never mind. So, so these two. So this guy in there can do. Um, block. He can block that guy. Mm -hmm. Or dodge out. Yeah. Has he got to dodge it twice though to get away from both tackle zones, or is it? And um, if you're exiting the, the tackle square. zones, fine. But if you're inside tackle zones, they're cumulative. So, if you want to move, say here, you're in two tackle zones, so it's minus two. But yeah. if you want to move here, it's one tackle zone. If you want to move here, it's out of tackle zones. Right. And it's in this guy's tackle zone. I think zone, we'll. So. Um, I think we'll just use him to bash some face there. Mm -hmm. And he's a lineman. So yep. Lineman. Lines orc. Lines orc. Yep. Yep. So. If he goes for that guy, he gets the bus plus one him. He certainly does, but I get plus one for this guy. So. Because he's engaged to him. Yeah. Ah, right, I thought he had to be touching no. your guy to no, get No, but if you're bus. in the tackle zone. Because basically they all pile on. So they cancel each other out, essentially. Okay, right. He's gonna he's gonna tackle. If he tackles him, mm -hmm. still so still the same. Still yeah. one die. Um, oh god, I'm gonna make horrible decisions here. I'm sure, but never mind. Um, okay, I'm gonna attack. 
I was just throwing it a spanner in the works here. Yeah. This guy's not been, and he's a higher strength than this guy. You're more likely to do me on that one, whereas that's 50 50. So, ah, uh, yeah, and if I fail, that ends the turn, right? So do this guy first. Mm -hmm. So this guy, I'm just going to turn him because he's going to go for that guy. Punch him in the face. Yep. And he has a plus for that guy, and he has a plus for that guy. Yep. So just one die? Yep. Uh, two die because you're strength four, I'm strength three. So two die because he's yep. strong. The big right? guys are strength four. The big guys are strong. Right, okay. Hey, that was better. That's pushed back, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This square or this square? Mm. Nope. This uh -huh. guy you're hitting. Oh, that guy, sorry. And then you could choose to follow up if you wish. Yeah, I think I'll move up there. Mm -hmm. Right, so now I've got my last guy. And then you've guy, got your one on one. And he's going to attack the guy. To mm -hmm. the side, and he's um, just to bear in mind, this guy's a blitzer, so blitzers are harder to hit because they've got blitz, uh, they've got block. He's a linesman, so he's squishier. Okay, I'll go for the squishier one then. Mm -hmm. Squishier's better then, yeah. Let's destroy this guy. I mean, let's say, <laughs> play this game, right? So now it's just one die, one die block, push back. So because you're on corner, this one, this one, or this one. And then you mm. choose to pull up if you wish. No, I'm just going to leave him there actually. Mm -hmm. And I think that's my turn then, is it? Yep. Everybody's done their thing. Humans turn four. Okay, turn four. Was that my turn three? Are you sure? Yeah, you might be right actually. Mm. Okay, that's my one See, chance. I didn't catch you on. No, if you if you don't get caught, you don't get caught. But um, right, so I'm going to try dodging like this to try and score. Yeah. So my ag <coughs> agility is three, which is a four plus. Okay. I'm going into an empty square. Right. It's a three plus. But what about you were in his tackle zone though? No, if you move in while in a tackle zone, but if you move into a tackle zone, you're fine. Out of, you need to make a dodge test. Right, so your, so your dodge is basically to get out of that square, to out of not that to square. get into that square, to get out yeah. of that one. Right, okay. So I need a three plus. You're obsessed with making these. Uh, and that's a one on him. Can't help but notice. Yep. However, I'm going to use roll? a three roll. Oof. So then the ball goes down and the curve goes wild. Yay! So you've scored. Where's your score marker? I've got the score marker there. Yeah, I was going to say, how do we know what the score is? Everybody still alive out there? Anyone celebrating? Yeah, who's, who's, who's siding with him? Anybody? Because <laughs> I'm sure you'll need it in a minute. <laughs> so. Um, I think I then, I think I then kick. I can't remember. What about your life one? Um, touchdown. Is that right? One left? Yeah, one left. Um, it's also, as soon as... Well played Gav, apparently. <laughs> the um, guy who knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pick it on the newbie. The scoring team is the one to kick off, so I'm kicking to you, so you're receiving. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Right, so that's the ball for later. Uh, basically, all the figures are reset up because we have an, a, what is an American football fresh drive. Okay. Uh, I set up first, but um, at the moment, if anyone was knocked out, you could roll to bring them back into the match. Or if you had any reserves, you could bring reserves on. Okay, so basically, that guy's about to make them all in there. I've got to find my blitzer, that's a blitzer, that's a blitzer. It's a flower, it's a flower, inside our horses.
Okay. Now, what was the rule for poison? Um, you must have uh, up to two in each on the outside uh, outside lines. You must have at least three on the scrimmage line. Right, so three down. Yeah, that makes, that makes sense. But you could, for example, put one here, one here, and one here, and that's a legal play. It's a daft on, play because they're on the line. Yeah. yeah. And you'll be going first because I'm kicking to you. Unless the kick off table says anything different, but yeah, that's my huge guys. Hold on a minute. Black Orc Blitzer uh, blockers. I'm confused again as to which flare switch. Blitzer. Yeah. Because they got penny tail. So are Blitzer, these guys with the corner thing. There's a Black Orcs. So they are blockers. They are Blitzers. Ah, right. Okay. 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 Right. Okay. Blitzers are very um, durable because they have a skill called block, which basically means. A a third of the dice results for blocking ignores them. That it didn't come up. Is that a normal dude? Yep, that's a linesman, line yep. orc. There's a nasty bit of flash on his helmet, I've got clean. <laughs> Oh no, it's a spike. <laughs> it's a spike, don't worry. Sorry, just flash on his helmet, just e Okay. Right, the one jump, one over there. So, I'm going to put normal one there, and normal one there. And then, there. Let's make a big one and then we'll also put one I'll put on that side. Normal dude? Yep. Normal dude. And that's my blitzer again, yeah. yeah. Just right. bear in mind I'd say the ball will end up in your half. Yep, yep. <laughs> but they've got to be in the tackle zone to make a, a difference to this thing, isn't it? So right, okay. Okay. And where do they go? Anywhere you like, but bear in mind, like I say, um, it's generally going to end up around here. That's basically where most people will indicate because you've got one, two, three, four, five, six squares. One, two, three, four, five, six squares. So if you kick it there, it's not going to go off the board. Okay. Depends how people play. Some people like elf teams can just kick it anywhere they like. Skaven teams as well are very fast, so they kick it where they like. Most people play it conservatively. Things like chaos teams, they don't care where it gets kicked to because they're just going to punch you in the face regardless. Okay. <laughs> okay I, think I think I've got a vague plan. <laughs> right, okay, now I kick off. Yep, kick off, so I'm going to kick the ball to there, so one, two, six. Yeah. And then we both roll on the kickoff table to see what crazy random happenstance happens. Oh, I see it, right, okay. Oh, I rolled a six. Do you roll the dice as well? Two dice we need. Yeah. Nine, quick snap. All your players, because you're the receiving team, can move one square. Okay, and ignore the zone. Ignore tactical zones, you can just move all your guys once. But I'm not going to pass really, am I? I'm going to be running the ball. Yeah, pretty much. Although linesmen are about the same as ca as humans for catching, but you don't have any of the fancy re-rolls basically. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to. Move squares, but is entirely up to you. No, I think I will with some of them. Mm -hmm. I'll move them up after all. No, wait a minute, they were there, weren't they? They get mm -hmm. one each. 
One square each. So you can actually move it in there. Mm -hmm. You're guiding the end and the edges. Alright. Can they pass to each other? These dudes? Yeah. You can pass to anyone you like. It's just you don't get any fancy rerolls. Okay. The same. Sorry, I've just seen the song in the chat and I'm it trying was. to make sense of it. I requested the same song earlier, but they spelled it wrong on YouTube. What? I think he might have typed that in the wrong window. Oh, no. Unless he's asking for... Unless he's asking for a live by... Hell, John. <laughs> I don't know. I, I've entered Polygon, you've just been confusing. Well done. Right. So yeah, you can pass to anyone you like, um, anyone on your team. Just bear in mind, like I say, if you're in tackle zones, it gets harder. And your guys don't have natural rerolls like catchers. Okay. Actually, I'm going to shift the whole line. And I don't know how far or how where that's going to go, so there's no point using the catcher. Yeah. Yeah, moving the, yeah, it's uh, going to move D6 regardless anyway. Yeah. So, um, we're going to roll, I'm going to roll for direction. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, no, but it's not your turn yet. Oh, it's still your turn, right? That's why I missed it then. Mm. Confused myself. So, I'm going to roll to see where Which direction? the ball ends up. It's going to go direction three, three six, six squares. Oh, so, six. one, two, three, four, five, six. Couldn't have been any worse for me, really, than from what I set up. And then that becomes orc turn four. He's still typing it wrong. I, I have no idea what he's talking about. Right, okay, let's carry over this. So, er, orc turn four. So it's my turn now. Yes. Right, okay. So now I can move my dudes. So pick a dude and go with him. Okay, and there's still five movement. So, right, well, I won't want to pick up the ball, presumably. It'd be the, the wise move. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. And now I have to do something to pick up the yeah. ball. So, it's an agility test, which is normally a four. So, so it's three because it's four. So, it's four or it, more. No, it's your agility three. So I'm not going to get this one. Yeah. So, take your agility <laughs> of seven. Good. And that's yeah. what you need to roll. So you need to roll a four. So you need to roll more than your agility. Yeah. No, um, no, it's not even more than your agility because um, if, say, your agility two, you've got to roll a five. You're in total. You need a seven. Ah, right. That's yeah. making sense. Now. So yeah. I need seven, but or you, more. Yeah, presumably. but you get plus one because you're picking up the ball. Why do I get the plus one? Because you're picking up the ball. That's your, that's Just because. Yeah. So. So I need three or more, basically. Yeah. And you've got sure hands, which gives you a re-roll as well. Okay. Can I take the re-roll, please? Take the re-roll. Hey! Better. So he's picked it up. So he's picked it up. And he's made all his moves, hasn't he? How many squares did he move? Yeah, he's over now. Yep. Yeah, one, right. two, three, four. So there's one more, is yeah. he? Yeah, so you right? carry on moving. Sorted. Like a reader in a filing cabinet. E. Sorted! Sorted! And then turn him to face so you know he's been. Right, so he's now. Da, 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 da. Yeah, he's just not getting attention, so he's trying mm. to get as much as he can. Right. So this dude. Which is not the start of the One, two, three, four, five. That's him done. So one player turn can do. A move and a block called the blitz. Yep. So, but only one player can blitz, but any player can block. But a lot of Blood Bowl comes down to planning where you're going to be pushing people to and where you can get the maximum strength bonuses to give you that extra chance of knocking people out. Yeah, I don't think my brain's going to do all that just yet. Mm. I'm still trying to pick, yeah, yeah, keep a hold of the anyway. basic stuff.
Okay, we'll start up here. Mm -hmm. This guy gets two dice against one of them, does he? Against either of them, because he's strength four and I'm strength three. And what's the difference between these two? Uh, absolutely nothing. It's just these figures. Just different, different figures. So... But that guy can attack him as well, yeah? Yeah, well, here's an interesting thought. If he hits him and doesn't knock him out and mo just pushes him, you can push him there and then hit him with him. And then push him this way. <laughs> right, okay. Just a thought. It's, again, chain, chaining things like that, where people are going to end up, it's always good to bear in mind. So what you have, well, see, it's not just one, one versus one. It's one, no. yeah. as many times as you want, basically, if you've got the players to keep doing it. Yeah, if you, if you line them up right, you can just knock people all the way sideways. Okay. Okay. Right, well, he's going to go for him, mm -hmm. and he's got the advantage, yeah? Yeah. Two dice? Yeah. Because he's got one more, and the, the, the support All the attack cancel. Right? cancel. Yeah. So, two dice against that guy there. Mm hmm Boo, 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 boo. Pushed. Push. So, and it's so one square, yeah? You can choose this square or this square. Well, I'll push into that one, then. Mm -hmm. And you can choose to flood if you wish. Um... Yes, I will. And then he turns around and says finished? Yep. Okay. What are the little things in the base? Is that meant to be for um, sticking the ball on? Yeah, some, some of the balls have got little pegs, so yeah. you, can put, you can put the peg in the hole. But um, they're the a little bit brittle, so um, I tend to not use them. Okay. Now, uh, well, we'll come back to him, because mm -hmm. I remember all the... Once things go wrong, it ends your turn, right? Yeah. So, oh, sorry, I really have a hard time remembering which is which. Let's line these up. Right, line is the normal one. Where was that one? The blackboard blockers, the, the big really guys. big guys. Yeah. That one and that one? Yep, yeah, that, no, that's a blitzer. No. Oh, Your cool. blockers are here and here. Right. So these are blitzers with a yeah, with ponytail. The ponytail. That's fine. Right, okay. <coughs> Oh, his agility is crap. Yeah, Black Orcs um, aren't very clever, but they hit very hard. You notice they've only got a movement line to four as well, because they are giant, great, big Orcs. Okay. So, so everyone, I'm confused. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to get my head around this. Yeah. So the guy I just attacked you with was, was the big guy. Yep, he's been. And he had two just. No, he's strength four. He, he, oh, it's a strength. It's his strength. You got Duh, right. Agility is picking up the ball, gotcha. dodging, things like that. Gotcha. So it's a, uh, I was looking at the wrong stat. I wonder why he was like, surely that should be a bigger one. Right. Okay. So now, everybody else is basically a three, so... What about, uh, do, right, bit of a question about movement rules mm -hmm. then. Can you move through your own players? No, squares? you can never move through any occupied square. Right, okay. So if I, get, if I push you guys to bunch up, that basically blocks that whole little section up. Mm -hmm. yeah. There is a tactic called a cage, where you basically surround your guy with a ball with guys, and then no one can get to him. Which makes some sort of sense, but it's quite... That also limits how many you've got to move anywhere else on the mm -hmm. table, yeah. Okay, right, okay. Uh, what's, why is he facing that way? Oh, because he's moved. Because he's moved. That's right. I'll just make sure that I've done that right. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my next big guy then. Your blitzer. This yeah. is a big guy. Ponytail guy? Or yeah, he's a blitzer. Yeah. So he's good at hitting people because he's got block. But he's stat wise the same as any other orc. Oh, that's the wrong one then. Yeah, this one. is your guy with strength four. He's that's a big the guy. super big guy. Yeah. That's your black orc blocker. Oh god, I'm never going to get this. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so he is going to then attack him. Mm -hmm. So that's a line thing, yeah. yeah. So that's basically the same as before. Yeah, because you're strength four, I'm strength three. Right, so I get two dice. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, I'm down with it. We need a better box. Yeah, we'll, we'll sort that out. Something, <laughs> something next time back. 
Right, so that's both down or push. And I can just push, so I can just choose this push one mm -hmm. down here. So, so here, here or here? I think I'll put them there. Mm -hmm. And I'll follow up. Oh! Colin in the colonies is now following. Thank you for the follow, Colin. Colon in the colonies. Colon in the colonies, sorry. Colin, colon in. Colon in, colon in the barbarian. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. 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 Yes, hello, colon in. Uh, we are playing Blood Bowl, welcome. No. Here's an interesting concept. Instead of following up, he then gets two dice. If I move him up. Yeah, if you're there, you're in a tackle zone. If you're there, you're not. Oh, I see, right. I, I'm in right. I'm, I thought that was still in the. Yeah, I keep. Yeah, yeah, got it. Right, I get it now. Sort of. So I'll, I'll keep him there then if that's okay, mm -hmm. if you don't mind me. Yeah, I mean, when I played the blo last Blood Bowl tournament, they are very finicky on procedure. Like, you follow up before you roll armor. If you go to roll armor, no, you can't follow up. Um, it's very. These are the rules, these are the steps you follow. Yeah, fair out. enough. Yeah, that's we're casual enough. players. So I get to go roll for the other armor when I do that? Yep. Uh, no, because you don't knock me over. Oh, it's only when you knock him over you do that? Yeah. Right, oh, that's fine. Cool, cool, cool. So now I've got two dice against yeah. that guy. From yeah, that. this guy then gets three, four to three. Four to three, so three two. And that uh, doesn't, doesn't look good. No, it's a good one. Oh, defender stumbles. Right, mm -hmm. okay. So again, you've got this square, this square, or this square. Uh, I'll put them there, please. Yeah. Then you choose if you want to follow up or not. Uh, yes, I will. Mm -hmm. I'm only going to go, yep. go one square forward mm -hmm. though. And turn You're going to get one square anyway. You no, I meant forward yeah. and diagonal. Yeah. So I meant to. Uh, and then you roll for armour. Oh yeah, right. What's it? That thing. What? Benny, you got that Benny? All right, Benny. Thanks, mate. Thanks for coming along. I'm waving at the camera, and the camera's not there. The camera's there. <laughs> uh, thank you for coming along, buddy. Speak to you next time. I think we're only going to get one half of this with my ineptitude, I'm afraid. No, no. It's a Blood Bowl <laughs> is a learning game, and yeah, it's half past ten. So right now, roll for armor, and your armor yep. is eight, eight or nine eight or better. Eight or nine or better. Nah, not not enough. So now my next move. Mm -hmm. Uh, so this guy. You can move and block. It's called a blitz. But I don't want to do. I can only do one a turn. You can do one a turn. So That's you okay. want to make sure it's. I do. Right I don't want to do it with that guy. So I want him to move but stop. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, you can just move him and stop him wherever you like. Okay. Yeah. And turn him to face. Oh yeah. Same with this guy. Mm -hmm. I can move him there. Is yep. that, is that yep. valid? Yeah. Yep. That's valid because you're moving into a tackle zone. Oh, yeah, because there's nothing here. Yeah. Right. And. So. These two are the. Blitzers. Blitzers, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so if he goes for him, he's got the plus. No, because mm. he's in one of them as well. Yeah, exactly right. And in fact, I get the plus from this guy. Okay, I'm going to move him go up to six. One, two, and then three. Mm -hmm. Now, if I want him to do a block, that's the blitz this turn. That's the blitz, it? yeah. Technically, you declare the blitz before you start moving in, but we're not. Okay, it's fine. But yeah, he can blitz. Yeah. But I'm, I'm going to keep him like He's that. Not. Just, okay. yeah, let's keep him there. Just. Well, just aside, no one else can blitz. Sorry? No one else has got the room to blitz, so because no one else needs to move. Oh no, okay, I see what you're saying yeah. Yeah. Right now, he mm -hmm. go, can go for that guy. Yeah. And that's just the normal. Just straight dice, yeah. And he's got one over him, yeah? So yeah. two dice? No, one, one dice, because you're strength three, I'm strength three. 
Oh, that guy's the same. Doesn't mm-hmm. look the same. He looks much bigger. He looks bigger, but he's a, <laughs> he comes with a skill called block. Um, basically, you'll notice when you throw it, both down, unless one has block. So one of the dice results he ignores. The bad dice result he, right. he ignores. So. But that's fine. That's, that's good. Back and down. So defender down. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... You can, because okay. you're going to corner, it's this one, this one. That one or that one? Yep. So one there. Mm-hmm. And he's down. Yep. Then you can follow up if you wish. Yeah. Okay. No. No? Why not? Because if he blocks him, he can assist. Whereas if he's here, he's in attacker zone. Oh, right. I thought it was because of the movement. Right. Okay, no, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, you could. There's no reason to say you can't, but... Um, if you're looking at punching people, is it's better to stay where you are. Okay. <laughs> so now he's going to punch him. Isn't but it? first, you need to turn him to face and roll for armor. To see if he's done any damage. See if you punch through his armor, squish the human. No. No. Bumps. Okay. Well, we've got the same chance, haven't we? So I'll use this guy. I'll try this guy first then. Mm-hmm. That's so a one dice. Well, this him. guy's actually got two dice because you've got him, strength three, strength four. Oh, so I've got two dice for that, so that's mm-hmm. a better chance anyway. Right, yeah. okay, I'll do that first then. So, mm-hmm. so that one is coming to him. Yep. Knock him back. So knock him back. Uh, this square, this square, or this square. So that one there. So so he's he's in here, so you throw him here, so you can go here, here or here. Oh I see right, well I'll put him there then. And then you can choose to follow up if you wish. Um which no you don't. Because again, this guy can assist him on him. And that's another two dice block. Oh right, okay, so it keeps this thing going right. I'm getting it right in the green, the green. I know what I'm doing, honest. Push again. Push again. So again, here, here, or here. And then you can choose to follow up if you wish. Is he given him a bonus next no. time? No. Uh, well, he would, but he gets a higher strength anyway. He's strength four, so it doesn't really make a lot. So I might as well move him yeah. then. And turn him to face. And that just leaves you one dice block there. So one die. Mm-hmm. And I'll re-roll that, please. I'm out of re-rolls. Oh, peasant. So your guy falls over in his square. Yep. I roll to break his armour, which I don't do. And that is a turnover. So we're going to pull back and go to humans, turn five. Okay. So we've got some squished humans. Feel free to speak out loud what you're thinking because I, I'm right. I'm not really going to it's you know it's to show other people it's yeah. not really him. well the key thing here is you've got a nice green wall there which I've got to try and get my guys through so what I'm thinking I'm going to try is I'm going to try throwing a blitz here with this guy so he's going to move up knock your guy back and carry on running okay to try and get through to him. that's going to be the plan. Because effectively, with the black orcs, there's not oh the black orc isn't there's not a lot I can do about him. Yeah, he's that one. Mm. Four four two nine. So I need to find some squishy orcs. Bit of a contradiction in terms. Yes, orcs are not squishy. Humans are squishy. Right, I'm going to. Th- Throw a one dice block here. Okay. Because. You're not getting your guys up first. Well, well, some of them are. I'm going to get this guy up and go three, four, five. So he's not moving his. No, four, five. Yeah, he's going to push into there. Because he's just moving into the square. That's okay. Fine. Then. This guy's not getting up yet because this guy's going to throw one dice block here. I'm hoping to knock him this way to clear room. So you get two routes. So I can then yeah start working up because black orcs are big and scary. They're very difficult to deal with. So 
Yeah. This guy's going to throw one dice block there. Okay. So. Defender stumbles. Bollocks. I'm going to push him there. I'm going to follow up. And then I'm going to try beating your armour. Nope. nope. <laughs> Three, four. He's just going to stand up because he can't really do a lot. He's going to block there with the assist. Okay. No, he didn't really get the assist, so that's a straight block. Yeah, so he's not going to do that. Because he's got that guy. Mm. So he's in that zone, right, okay. I thought that, but then what correct you, but now, now I'm thinking, yeah, 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 I got it right. So I'm probably going to blitz. So one, two. Yep, so I'm going to blitz here. So this guy is going to go. So from this square, he's going to go one, two, three, and blitz. Okay. So, and he is on two dice. Yeah. Push. Three, four, five, six. So even when he, even though he's made a, an attack, he still gets all of his movement because it's a blitz only for your blitz. <coughs> the blitz can be done as part of a move, but it takes right. a square of your move. Um, it's the only time you can carry. So on normally he would be able to intersect. Yeah. Oh, all right, gotcha. So that gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these guys aren't very hitty, but at least he can get in your way a bit. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so can you show me that move? Oh, sorry, yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, right, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. The problem I've got here is you've got a block of the works. He's going to throw one dice block there, uh, just a normal block block. Okay. So he can't move afterwards or nothing. Defender stumbles. Unless, read it. Re read this thing. Defender stumbles. Stumbles unless the defender uses the dodge skill. Oh, sorry, I was thinking the wrong one. Which one is he? Yeah, he's no, a block. He's a, he's a block. <coughs> no, it doesn't like that. So I'm going to uh, push you back to there. I'm going to follow up. Surely my camera is quite fast in the action at the moment. Six, seven, eight, nine, not quite. This guy's just going to stay where he is. Oh, he's a one dice block, so... He's going to block there with the assist, because that then makes it two dice, because I'm stre uh, strength three, strength four, so it's equal dice. Okay. That's bad news for me, isn't it? Mm. I'm not following up with that one. Armour nine, six, seven, eight. And you can go one, two. So he's gonna go four to there. Just scoot along. Scoot that way around. He's then gonna have a block there with the assist. This is all going wrong <laughs> for me. Six in them enough. No, it's um, I don't know why I bothered with that. But right, I, I just got this guy to do so. What's he gonna do? I think one, two, three, four, five, six. It's gonna be the best for work use for him, and that is gonna be it. Okay, so my turn now, certainly is.
Well, this is a bad, bad, bad situation for me. Well, just bear in mind that these are only strength two. <coughs> so anyone hits him is going to get two dice. But he's basically there to slow your guy down. If I knock him down, I can move freely. Yeah. With somebody else, obviously. If you knock down from there. Right, well, I'm going to use this three moves to get him up. Mm -hmm. And face him that way now. Yeah, whichever way your team isn't facing. Mm -hmm. Pardon me. And I'm going to use this guy to blitz. Ooh, okay. Is that right? Because he's yeah. the biggest, isn't he? Yeah. And that would actually be a three dice blitz. But okay. have you got a movement? Oh, right, he's. Yeah, just. Why not? One, Why two. would I not have? Because there's nobody. He's, he's not in any zone. He's he? moved four. It takes one square to blitz. All oh, right, so one, two, three, and then mm -hmm. blitz. Mm -hmm. So he can. Right. Yeah, just. Okay. Now, here's the, here's the interesting thing. You're strength four, mm -hmm. strength five, I'm strength two. You're over double my strength, you get three dice. Three dice. It's called a three dice block. Three dice blitz in this case. Oof. Take that one. Certainly will. So he's knocked down. Mm -hmm. Push back and knock down. So this square or this square. Okay. Go the other thing. Follow up if you wish. Um, yeah, he will follow mm -hmm. up. And um, they are only armor seven, so. Oh, eight or more and he's dead. Mm. Uh, well, well, eight, eight or more for an injury. No? Okay. Nope. Goodness me. But you knocked <laughs> him out of the way. That's the key thing. Right, so now he can move freely. Mm -hmm. And his is... He can move so, uh, five. Thief, yeah. Plus you can go for it twice if you wish. Nope. What? Just as an aside, is obviously to give you some tactic advice. I've only got one guy here. He blocks him, shunts him that way, follows up. Your guy's got a clear run. But surely these guys can just come round them. Can do. Well, okay, I'll try it then. Well, it's up to you. Is uh, this the way I tap? I just, uh, I just figured yeah. that round here, there's a lot more blockers. Lot more orcs. Yeah, you got a lot more orcs that side. To support them, you know. Another option. But again, this is where Blood Bowl comes down to your own, is okay. two different players will see two diff very different fields. I just figured, because my guys are big, mm. spicy guys. Oh, okay, now we'll try that, because I need to, I want to try and get another, hopefully get a score in before the end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, he's got five, yep. one. D does he want to be on the line, or, or not? Not really, if you can avoid Two, it. Two, just... three, four, five. Mm -hmm. And now he's turning that way. Yep. Whoops. But this also gives you the start of a cage. That's true, yeah. Right, okay, so this guy... Does he get an advantage from, it, from one, any of them? No, no it's still only one dice block. Right, so he's going to try for him. Mm -hmm. So, one dice block. Your strength three, I'm strength three. Which is good. Um, this square, this square, oh, this square. I've got no rerolls over. It could get worse anyway, so let's not bother. Okay, so I'm going to push him there. Mm -hmm. Are you following up? And, oh, well, yes. Because although you're not a technical cage, you've still got tackle zones. Yeah. Which yeah. are going to be very difficult for anyone except for Amazons to get into. Right, okay. Amazons are very dodgy. Other than they like dodging. Yeah. So, well, I could get these guys to move them, couldn't I? Mm -hmm. Because they're not in any zones. Yeah, that is, as I can see, it's going to take a lot more thinking and getting used to one square move, you know, counting the squares and doing all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. I think that's part of the appeal of Blood Bowl, is Blood Bowl is very. Um, Captain Electropunch is now following. Thank you for follow, Captain Electropunch. Thank you. Oh, and what's that? Probably an email telling me Captain Electropunch is following. I mean, the good thing with Blood Bowl is that's why, you know, technically it's a very simple, straightforward game, but there's a lot of thought and a lot of um, depth to it. 
Okay. I think that's partly why, like I say, it's been played non-stop so since 1986. Three mm. moves to get him up. Yep, three to get up. Gives him three more to play with. So do you uh, do it two more to play with. No? All right. I thought it was this yeah. one. Yeah. So it's only, it can only end up in that square to, to engage him. Ah, but unless you go for it. Mm, two. Mm -hmm. Just thought he can get up. Yeah. Well, three. he's going to do something that way. So right, we get yeah, yeah, facing forward. So he's the moment he's up. Yeah. So three. Three. And he's got one left. So now. He, yeah. So now he wants to move. Right. Yeah. Four. Okay. And he can't do anything else because he's just got up. Yeah, he's just got up. So then we'll go with this two getting up. Mm -hmm. So three. Three. And he's got two left. Mm -hmm. But he can't do anything with him, can he? Because he's no. gonna. And you've thrown your blitz of the turn, so. So he's basically just turning. Mm -hmm. This guy, however. Oh, man, he's not going to be able to do anything either, is he? Mm -hmm. So I'll get him up for three and face him that way. Yep. So with these dudes. Are all still to go, yeah? Mm -hmm. Right, okay. So I've done my blitz for the turn. Yeah. So I can only move the ones that aren't engaged. Yeah. But I can block the other ones. Yeah. Alright, I think I see. Oh, okay, I'm kind of getting ideas in my head now. Yeah, yeah, it's. Um, I must say, I mean, the the video game itself is very good because you don't have to worry about stepping figures up and that. Yeah, 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 that's, that's the thing. So if he attacks him, he can only move them to those three. Well, he's been, so he's got... I mean, sorry, if it, yeah, yeah, I'm just getting the idea of the attack, yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah, so if you're on a diagonal, you can go on the diagonal three. If you're face-to-face, -face, it's the back three. So if he was to go for him, he could he'd go to one of those yeah. three. I'm assuming that guy wasn't there, wasn't he? Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, you can never go into an occupied space. Yeah. But an interesting note is, is if, say... You were to you had three guys here and here, and you blocked him. You'd have to move the guys. If there's no physical space to go, you move people so that they there is. Oh, okay. there's an interesting knock-on effect. So yeah. if he was to go for him, mm -hmm. he could move. He couldn't move him there. No, because Just he's going there. Yeah, right, okay, I get it. Oh yeah, so momentum and movement. Okay, right. Well, he's going to go for him anyway. Mm -hmm. Now, what's he? He's He's a blitzer. He's a blitzer, which is this one, which has yep. got three. Yeah. And your guys are three, is he? Yeah. But he has the additional from yep. that, so two dice. Yeah. Strength four against strength three, two dice. Um, I guess that's the proof is a one, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, here's an interesting thing. So the other one. They're both down. Unless they have block. Does now, your guy have block? I have block and you have block. Oh, right. Because that's a blitzer, he has block. So what does that do instead? Um, but I've also got block because that's my blitzer. So now they would be knocked down. Yeah. So it's, so it's just like the push, but if, for example, I didn't have block, mm -hmm. you don't go over because you've got block. So oh, that in this case, it turns out to be just the yeah. same. So I'm going to push him then. Mm -hmm. uh, that way? Yeah. And then and he turns... Follow up, if you wish. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. That's so good. then, this guy, you skip plus one. Gotcha. So now two dice from hand to hand. Mm -hmm. Is that camera move or is it just no, imagination? Push. <laughs> no. Push. So again, this square or this square, because you're coming directly backwards. And then let's move on. And you can follow up if you wish. There, and follow up. Right, is anybody still to go that guy? Um, this guy. Right, so that guy can go that guy from... Has that one got an advantage now? Because he's got his back. Well, that's a, that's a blocker. Uh, that's a blitzer, so he has got block. Right, okay. So I might as well... They're both so it's both, both one the same, block. but yeah. he's got the... He's less likely to be knocked over than that yeah, guy. okay. So, that guy and that guy, mm -hmm. one die. One die. Push, push. Again, no, we're both saying it like that. Coming, 
diagonal, so there, there, or there. <coughs> and you can follow up? Yep, you can follow up and turn to face. And then this guy's got one. Yep, one stick. dice. Mm, that's a good Back one. and down, that's good. Now the only square he can go into is this one. Okay, so let's stick him in there then. So, and you can choose to follow up if you wish. And if I follow up, he may get hurt, but it will be stopping those guys from moving easily. Yeah? Is yeah. that right? So if he follows up, mm -hmm. comes that way. But I've still got the attack, the armour thing? Yeah, you still got all the armour. So uh, armour 8, so 9 to get nine. through. Oof, Yay, know. finally we've got something. And then roll on the injury chart. Got it. <laughs> uh, 2d6. Yep, 2d6. I knew that was going to happen. Off of. Stunned. And that is it for the orcs. Yep. Turn 6. How are we doing on time? Uh, we're. We're not too bad. Hang on, let's see. Quarter past eleven? No. No, no. Ten to eleven. Ten to eleven, yeah. Not too. Right, so what am I going to do? But obviously, we want to make a convenient stopping point as well, so. Can we basically, mm. we'll stop at the end of one, one turn. So maybe get two more in, maybe? Yeah, hopefully we get the half done. Um, right, I'm going to try some sneaky tactics. Ooh. So, this guy is going to block this guy. So straight one dice block. Mm -hmm. oh, that's not what I wanted. Is that both? Both down. I'm going to use a reroll for that one because um, mm -hmm. it's a little bit early in the a little bit early in the turn for that. Push. So I'm going to push you there and follow up. I'm then going to blitz with this guy, so I'm going to do one, two, and blitz. Okay. Which is still only one dice because this guy's in this guy's tackle zone. Okay. Oh no. Oh, no. So he's down. He's down. You've used your reroll already. I've so. used my reroll already. So you need to roll armour because my blitz fell over. Oh, right, you know. Forget about that. Yeah. Not enough. This guy rolls over because it's the end of my turn. Okay. And that is the end of my turn. So that's your turn. Yeah. Mine? Waste of a turn. We all turn six. Cool. Uh, oh, none of my guys are down. Yeah. Ooh. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. And who's got the ball that guy there? This guy here. So can he attack backwards? Yes. Any direction you like. Alright, okay. And I'm guessing he's going to want to then. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, this guy's in this square, this guy's in this square. So. so what happens if I attack with him? If you hit him, he he's going to push that way. He's got to go that way? Yeah. Because it would be there, there, or mm -hmm. there? Yeah, there, there, or there. Uh, so yeah, there, there, there. Right, okay. And it's going to be all... <laughs> Sorry? Two, it's going to be two dice as well, because... He'll throw there with the assist. Yeah. Because his assist is cancelled by him. So. so those cancel each other out, mm -hmm. so that makes it two or one. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to go with that one then. Yep. Yeah. So two, two dice. Block. dice. Um, what was the exclamation? Bust down yeah. or something? No, unless he has dodge, which he doesn't have. Defender. Yeah. Still not. Cool. Okay, that's the better one of the two to use. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right, you can follow up if you wish and give yourself a nice. Squares worth of. So he'll move where? There? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And turn the face. And then you need to roll the armour. Oh, yeah. Keep forgetting I got a chance to, yeah, you get to bust them here. Hurt the dudes. Burst. Bust them here. Ten. Tens through the armour. Roll to see what happens. Oh, yep. Yeah. Six. So that's stunned again. Boom. Face down. Now, here's a good one for you. If this guy blocks him and pushes him, he goes into the crowd and rolls straight injury. Oh, okay. So he's going to assuming do that. you put, assuming you shove him off and don't fall over. 
Right. So okay. it might be worth moving other stuff first. All right, of course. Yeah. Well, he's free to move at the moment, mm -hmm. isn't he? Because right. you've shunted the guy, so you can go one, two, three, five, four, five. Go for it, go for it. Right, so, so that put you there, and that gives you one. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. You can go for it, go for it, and then next turn, so you're only going to get one more turn. One, two, three, four, five, go for it. All right, okay, so go for it, and I need to yep. roll. On I need two. to not roll a one, basically. And then I can go for it again. Mm -hmm. I thought I was going to just, it just looked like a one for a second and then it bounced again. So he can move again? Oh no, that's, no, that's, that, that's, that's where he's moved to, yeah. Right. And he's finished. So, that's it. so now I can get this guy to shunt that guy off the board, one okay. by swap. Let's try again. Back and down. So he goes off, right. and then you just rolled straight injury. Roll on the injury chart, see what he, he gets. Two dice. So you don't even need to roll armor. On the tot. <laughs> Seven. So he's stunned. He's stunned, stunned, which means he goes into reserve. Oh, yeah, see, there's numbers around the board mm -hmm. to help. Right, okay. Wait a minute. No? Yeah. Eight or nine, ten. Oh, right, it's just in the numbers in the first Yeah, because anything right. less than eight is going to go in that box. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> And does, can he move? Does he, he can move? follow up if he wishes, but you don't really need to. No, no reason, so. Um, so now I just want to try and knock these guys down and stop them chasing them. Basically. Okay. Right, so they'll cancel each other out, is that right? Mm -hmm. So it's one well, guy. You've got a blitz to you, so my advice would be. Oh, he's the bigger guy, guy first. Yeah, move him round to blitz because he gets the assist. So he moves and him. And he there. shuts him out of the way, and he can then. Um, well, so in theory, he can yeah, blitz. get him out of the way. Two dice? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the good one, isn't it? That's a good one. So he's going to go here or here. Oh, so no, because you come from me, so he's in yeah. here or here. Put him there. Oh, actually, we'll put him there then, can I? Mm -hmm. Next time I'm down. Roll for uh, damage? Yep. Armour, brother? Nah. No. So he's followed up to there, so he's in. So he's going that way. Now this guy can just wander around and he can block him. Well, that won't make a difference, actually. So he can one, two, three, mm -hmm. to there, mm -hmm. and just stop there? Yeah, because he's now strength three, strength four, strength five. Three dice? No, two dice. Two dice. Yeah. Strength six would be three dice. Uh, both those things. Both, unless you have dodge. Which Defender stumbles. Neither of us have. Uh, so he falls as well? Yep. And you get to roll an armour for me, and I roll an armour for you, and that'll be a turn. No, okay. Nah, okay. Okay. And then because your guy fell over, we go to turn seven. Okay. What can I do here? Three, four, five, six. Well, he's not close enough anyway. I don't think there's anything I can do. Eight. I go for it twice. It's the only thing I can do. So he's going to get up. Uh huh. That's three, four. So but he's can him. He can. But isn't he in there? Yep. Yeah, yeah. So he's now got a dodge. Ah, right. Okay. So he dodges on a four plus, three plus for an end, going into an empty square. So four, five, six, uh -huh. seven for a go for it. And that's a one. And you're re rolling it, okay. And again. No what? So he's basically just run up there. Um, and that's basically the only thing I can do, I think. He can go three, four. What do I do? Three, four, five. He's face down, so three. Yeah, basically, it's just standing my guys up. Because that gives you some tackles on it to dodge. Right, so. He's been, he's been, he's been, he hasn't been, he's been, been, been. Right, so. I'm going to throw strength three, strength four, and strength five on this guy. Mm -hmm. So that's two dice. This is just tried 
That's one kind of dice. So push. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he's just going to go oh, right there. Just to give you some more dodging to do. And the dog didn't like that sound at all. Right, this guy is going to push that uh, punch there. Okay. So that's a one dice block. This is basically all just trying to do stuff before the you score effectively. I'll raise this. I'll raise. Stop that. Yeah. Okay. This guy now gets two dice. Okay. This guy. Yeah, see that. Push. Then just for the last, this guy's going to throw a block there. Okay. Now, you're strength four, I'm strength three, so it's two yeah. dice and you pick the dice. Right, okay. Both the same? And down. So both down then. So your armour and so me, sure. nothing. And you get to break my armour and then your turn. No. My turn? Certainly is. Okay. Oh, and we didn't use the, zo the zoom cam very much, did we? The uh, close cam. I don't think we really need it for this game, though. It's more for One, two, three, four, five, and dodge. So you've got a dodge. And then. Oh, yeah, because I can only use one blitz, can't I? Yeah. And you don't want a blitz head. Oh, there, he can come up to yeah, the same. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You're still better off dodging there. Oh, you haven't got a reroll, so. No. Yeah, you're still better off dodging than blitzing. How many moves he got? Five? Six. Six? Oh no, yeah, five, sorry. Yeah. Don't forget your guys are fives. Because he could go for. Oh no, a blitz takes a. a yeah. A, so go there mm -hmm. and attack that guy, couldn't you? Yeah. But he's still dodging. Still has to dodge out one of them. So he's still. Does he, doesn't he not have to do two dodges no. from that? Oh, so it's just one dodge anyway. Because you're going into an empty space. It's still the same. Basically. If you're dodging in their tactical zones, they're cumulative. But because you're coming out. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. matter. So if I move to there then. Yep. On a three. Come on. Oops. On a three. So you want a three plus to dodge there. Well, it's going to do it again. <laughs> Yep, then you got, so that's one, two, three, four, five. So he's up there. And then a go for it on a two plus. Oof. So, and now I got to move another go yep, for it? Yeah, he moves. No, that's it. That's your go for it. I thought that was my go for it. No, because that was one, two, three, four, five, which is your basic movement. And then you go for it. Go for it. So score. Score. Woo! Where's the cheerleaders? <laughs> I'm guessing you get cheerleader models and stuff for you this do, game. You do, and yeah. you can buy them as upgrades. They do have an in-game effect. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah, I was, I was guessing there's, there's, there's sort of more surrounding the game, isn't there? There's like yeah. bribery and Yeah, stuff. you've got um, a set of special play cards which we haven't used, um, which have got everything from bribery to technically weapons are banned in Blood Bowl. But, per, but personal <laughs> armour isn't, which is why a lot of the armour has spikes. Gotcha. But there are um, hidden weapons, and goblin teams are notorious for it. Hidden chainsaws. Hidden chainsaws? How do you hide a chainsaw? They're goblins. Um, in the previous editions, Halfling Team, for example, um, it's. Nobody, nobody's cheering for me. So no one's cheering. Is guessing, anyone cheering? I'm guessing, no. I'm guessing they've gone. They've all, they've all gone to sleep. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but in the previous game, for example, it was suggested that because goblin models are so small, that you sneak a couple extra onto the board. Extra goblins? So people will be setting up their team of 14 it's just like, yeah, yeah, I've got 14 guys and play 16. And that was actually recommended in the Goblin team rules. Because they had rules for if you were caught, what to do if you were caught. So. Oh, so you didn't, let, you didn't see it? If you didn't spot it, it's perfectly legal. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, you've got things like your, what's called the Bloodweiser babes. So girls of beer. Um, <laughs> and then you've got uh, your cheerleaders, your pocket through apothecaries who can heal your dudes and, right okay um assistant coaches help you with re-rolls and things like that so there is a lot of depth to blood bowl but, but the basic game was what we saw tonight that is the basic game that is 
that's the, the nuts and bolts of yeah. the actual thing. All right, well, thank you very and much, then, Gav. As is always traditional, <laughs> a draw. <laughs> a draw, yes, that's it. Uh, Colin in the comments says, uh, yeah, it's 45 hours behind, so that makes things a bit easier for Nyland to disappear early. Well, thank you for, thank you for staying with me then. Uh, I think what we'll do then is that's a, that's a convenient stopping that point is a convenient for the evening. Stopping. Um, so we're going to stop for the evening. So sorry if you've only just joined us. Um, but there we go. Uh, Tabletop Tuesday next week. Are you able to make it for next week? Yes. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss uh, off camera then. You know, uh, off games. What, 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 games what, what we might do next week. Um, yeah, I, I might have somebody else next week as well. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. We'll see what happens. But. Uh, for now, thank you very much, Gav, for bringing your stuff and showing me how to play. Um, I'm sorry I was a bit of a slow learner, but that's, no, that's just me. Enjoy it. And if you do, if you did enjoy it, and if you guys in, enjoyed the stream, then certainly mention to Hamish and we can play more Blood Bowl. Yeah, we can bring Blood Bowl back another time if you guys thought that was a, a good one. But we were probably for the first, at least the first few t t uh, Tabletop Tuesdays, we're going to try and mix it up as much as possible. Let people see all different kinds of games. Also, we want to see how to get the cameras and stuff set up for all the different games as well yeah. so that's 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 part of it i think I've, I've, even while we're going through that i've had a couple of ideas um that might might or might not work out uh, for other things but for now thanks very much guys <laughs> this has been the first tuesday uh, tabletop tuesday an ability to say tabletop where am i <laughs> thanks very much guys and uh good night